Welcome to your daily dose of Sunday School, episode 34. We continue with James White's Scripture Alone, and we have reached chapter 9, Tradition, the Church, and the Development of Doctrine. Getting pretty close to the end now. And we're going to look at a couple verses that Catholics are going to argue indicate that there is a tradition delivered to the church that is separate from the scripture and um, that, th that they claim undermines the doctrine of scripture alone. That scripture alone is our ultimate rule for what we should believe about God and how we should obey him. So 1 Corinthians 11.2 says, Now I commend you because you, you remember me in everything and maintain the traditions even as I delivered them to you. It's about maintaining the traditions. So that's tradition. Does that mean that we should have a uh, church tradition that is also our ult one of our two ultimate authorities. And then Second uh, Thessalonians uh, 2.15 So then, brothers, stand firm and hold to the traditions that you were taught by us, either by our spoken word or by our letter. So we have spoken traditions, and we have letters, and the Roman Catholic is going to claim that th because this is the command, that they are the only ones who are obeying this command because they are holding to the spoken word and to the, uh, to the letters which were delivered by the apostles. And there's a couple things we need to ask. First off, what is the tradition? I would argue that the tradition is what we have a record of Paul teaching. For instance, in Acts, the tradition is simply the gospel. And, and so if we are holding to the Bible, then we are holding to the tradition of the apostles. If we look to the epistles to learn how to interpret the scripture, and we are not interpreting the Old Testament the way the Pharisees would have, and making Jewishness the center of our message rather than faith in Christ, then we are holding to, to the tradition of the apostles. So... Um, even the Catholics acknowledge that uh, the, what the church has, I mean, this is typical of Catholics, not every Catholic, uh, that there's not like part of the, the message given to the church and part given to the scripture, but that the tradition given to the church can also be um, discovered in the scripture. So it really doesn't make sense to say something else, but I want to say the tradition is simply the gospel. It's simply what we have record in Acts of what Paul was teaching. So he's not teaching something separate than what can be found in, in the scripture. And I think it's pretty clear from 2 Thessalonians 2.6 that, um, that it's not a matter of two different Messages are two different traditions, but it's two methods of reception. And that the his original audience would have had access to. We don't have access to those two methods. We don't have access to um, spoken word or letter. We have access to the letter. And they didn't have access to both means because... They might have had a lot of spoken word, but not had access to the whole New Testament. I'll argue that we have a superior situation because they would have been wanting to receive 
all the letters of scripture and not been able to just yet. It took some time for the apostles' letters to disperse, for all the gospels to be written, for the New Testament to be closed. Uh, we've got all that. So we have a superior body of the, go- of, the, of the apostolic tradition, which is Christ, which is the gospel. And, but for Paul's original audience, they would have had some people who had heard this message by ear, some who had heard by letter. And so either way, you're holding to the one tradition, which leads me to say, Paul, what does Paul want us to do? Paul wants us to hold to the scriptures. Paul wants us to, to follow in his example in the way he sees Christ in the Old Testament. Paul wants us to hold on to the gospel. That's what it means. It doesn't mean I need a church body to approve of what is clear in the Bible. I do want a church body to teach me. There's nothing wrong with that. But if they disagree, if the church disagrees with scripture, I'm going to stand on scripture alone. 